Hello, everyone. It's Mora and Harp, and we're back with your Qlips English Learning Podcast. Check out our website. That's Qlips.com. C-U-L-I-P-S.com. Because there you can become a member, and when you're a member, you have access to the learning materials. And each learning material includes a complete transcript, a detailed explanation, and even a quiz. Today's episode is a chatterbox episode, and that's where we chat about all kinds of different topics. Now, today we're going to do an episode that was suggested to us from Daniel. Who is listening from Brazil? And we just want to say thanks a lot for your suggestion, Daniel, because it was a great idea. And again, thanks for letting us give you credit for that. Thanks, Daniel. In our episode today, first we're going to talk about the different kinds of students that you might see in a Typical elementary or high school classroom. Okay, and then we're going to talk about some classic scenarios. And last but not least, Harp and I are going to share some of our own school memories from when we were in school. And in this episode, when we say schools, we mean mainly elementary, junior high, and high school. Let's get started. The first thing we're going to look at is different kinds of students, because there are kind of stereotypical students that you really do see in all different kinds of classes, and you especially see these kind of students in movies and TV shows. Definitely, whenever there's a show that involves a school environment, there's always each of these. Right. So the first one is teacher's pet. Yes, a teacher's pet, and this is the kind of student who's always interested in learning and always wants to get really, really good marks at school, which is a good thing, right, Harp? Definitely. But other students can find it kind of annoying. Yeah, because this is the student that always answers the question, always puts his hand up or her hand. Right, and. This kind of student is always trying to be really nice to the teacher because this student wants good marks. Yes, definitely. This is the kind of student that brings in an apple for his teacher. <laughs> exactly. And if you think of the actual name, teacher's pet, well, a pet is like a little animal that's your friend. So if you imagine this student is like this little pet to the teacher, always following the teacher around, always wanting to be beside the teacher. Kind of loyal, like a dog might be. Yes. So even from your own experience, thinking back to classes you've been in, you might be able to think of a teacher's pet, or maybe you were the teacher's pet. <laughs> <laughs> maybe. Now let's look at another kind of student. Yeah, another kind of student is the class clown. Yeah, the class clown, and you'll notice that one of the words is. Clown and a clown is a funny person dressed sometimes in a costume that's always telling jokes or doing tricks and just trying to make people have a good time. Yes, so a class clown is someone who's always telling jokes in class, always trying to get a laugh out of people. Right, and a class clown is usually not mean, but they're just trying to have fun and get the whole class to have fun. Yes. Even though they're not trying to be mean, the class clown might still get in trouble from the teacher, or get kicked out of class, or sent to see the principal. Yeah, usually because they're talking when they're not supposed to be talking, because they're trying to tell a joke. Right. So making jokes at inappropriate times or constantly talking could get the class clown in trouble, and so the teacher might not like the class clown. Yes. And often, in most classes, there is this kind of person, sometimes more than one, who's always telling a joke. And we have one more kind of typical student that you might find in a regular classroom. Yeah, the slacker. 
Yes, the slacker. The slacker is a kind of student who doesn't like to work and isn't motivated to do any schoolwork. So they often don't hand in their work and they don't work well in class. Yeah, when there's an assignment in class, they often just doodle or stare off into space instead of doing their work. Yeah, a slacker can be found in a classroom, but it can also be found at work. A slacker is just someone who doesn't like to work and doesn't work hard. Mm -hmm. Now, Mauro, which kind of student were you? I have to say, I don't think I really fit any of the stereotypes. But if I had to choose, I would say I was something between the class clown and the teacher's pet. Interesting. I liked to do well and I liked learning, but I also liked to have fun and I was sometimes a bit too talkative. Interesting. What about you, Harp? I was definitely not the class clown. I was so shy when I was in school. <laughs> Oh, well, you really came out of your shell then. It's true. I would say I was the teacher's pet, though. I really like doing well in school, so. <laughs> oh, Harp. Had no idea. All right. Now let's look at a couple classic scenarios. And by this, we mean different situations or classic lines that you might hear or students might use in schools. Yes. So the first one is, the dog ate my homework, <laughs> which is such a classic line. When a student is supposed to hand in an assignment and they don't have it, usually because they didn't do it. Probably it's the slacker in that case. Definitely. It's such a classic excuse to try to get out of handing in homework. Right. So this is the excuse that a student would give to their teacher. The dog ate my homework. That's the reason why they don't have it done. No one actually uses this expression anymore because it's such a classic line. It's been used so many times that it's a joke. And if any student tried to use this line, it would never work. But like we said, this line has been used so many times that it's a joke. Definitely. And sometimes people even use it sarcastically because it is so unbelievable right like if a student didn't finish their homework the teacher might say let me guess the dog ate it because obviously there's no excuse and the student just didn't do their homework yeah so this is definitely a classic scenario yeah in this one you'll also hear in movies and on television little jokes will be made in reference to this because it's such a classic line definitely i remember when i was young i didn't have a dog and i always wanted a dog so i could try to use this excuse <laughs> yeah it's a fun one mm -hmm. and we have another scenario that i think most students at some time in their education experience yes to skip school right so a student might skip school or play hooky. Now, to skip school means that you don't go to school for no good reason, which means you're not sick, you don't have a medical appointment, you just don't go to school because you don't want to and you want to have fun instead. Exactly, and you wouldn't have your parents' permission. Maybe you just want to hang out with your friends at the mall or something bad like that. Right. Now, some students skip school and their parents don't know where they are and the school tries to look for them because they're supposed to be at school. But when a student turns 18, they can legally sign themselves out of a class. So they might also skip school and just go hang out at the mall, like you said. But in that case, they can actually sign themselves out. So the other expression that you can use in this scenario is playing hooky. This one's a bit older. I think my mom used to use it. And it's not as popular nowadays. Yeah, kids nowadays would say that they skipped school or are you skipping school? So these are some classic situations that students might find themselves in or some classic expressions that you could hear. All right, and now is the fun part, our own memories from school. Thank you. 
It was such a long time ago. <laughs> First of all, Harp, did you like school? I loved elementary and junior high school, and I hated high school. What happened? It was just annoying. There was lots of gossip. I just wanted to be finished and be in university. It's true that in high school, there is a lot of gossip and people are judging each other all the time. It's kind of exhausting. Definitely. The gossip just really annoyed me. Yeah. I agree that the gossip and rumors are annoying, but I have to say that I really liked high school. I generally enjoyed school all the way along, but I really had fun in high school. Not necessarily for the classes, but for the social part with so many friends and always hanging out and going to parties. You're still friends with your high school friends. Yep, right. some of my friends from high school I still keep in contact with. And even one of my friends from kindergarten. You're still friends with one of your friends from kindergarten. I know, crazy, eh? Wow. You've known each other for a long time. <laughs> yes, Harp, I'm getting old. <laughs> so I was wondering, do you have any particular memories from when you were in school? Any funny stories that you can recall? Um, I just really remember when we did like sleepovers at, at school or if we went on camping trips and just that whole slumber party aspect of school. You slept over at your school? Yeah, we did it twice when I was in elementary school and all of us, I think it was all the same grade, maybe grade six and seven together. So 12 years old and 13 year olds all slept in the gym together and we told ghost stories and we played games. I don't know why, but we did this. <laughs> did you not have a slumber party at school? No, but I would have loved to. Yeah, it was really fun, actually. <laughs> I think that some people might have done that to raise money, mm -hmm. but I was never involved in it, so I don't really know. No, it wasn't to raise money. It was just a school activity. Mm, that's fun. You know, I have done a sleepover at a school as a teacher, but it wasn't even a sleepover. People were awake all night. Why? What were you doing? It was just an all-nighter, have fun kind of thing. Really? Yeah. And as a teacher, let me tell you, it was very tiring. That's so interesting. The kids stayed up all night. Yeah. Yeah, it was fun. Wow. <laughs> what about you? What are some memories you have from school? Well, like you, my biggest memories are from trips that we took. And I remember in some of my last years of high school going on camping trips. I particularly remember going on a winter camping trip. And some friends and I, along with the outdoor adventure club that we were a part of, set up a tent and slept outside in the winter. You slept outside in the winter. <laughs> okay, now... Wait for me to get to the end of the story and it will sound more like me. So the first night, my friends and I tried to sleep outside, but we were sleeping in our snow pants and winter coats and everything. And we were still so cold that we could barely sleep. But in the area that we were camping, there was a little cabin. And so by the end of the night, pretty much everybody was in the cabin because it was just so cold. Oh my goodness, that is really funny. <laughs> and then the next day, we were supposed to stay the night again. But one of my friends had her car because we drove. So we decided to leave because it wasn't fun and we were too cold. And ever since that experience, I've always said I will never go winter camping. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't sound like fun to me at all. It was very cold. So it's funny because we're talking about school, but when we start talking about the memories, you don't really remember the classes or the assignments. When you're finished school, you remember the trips and the people and the funny experiences that you had. Another thing that I remember are the school dances. Oh, really? Yeah, just getting excited that there was going to be a dance and 
thinking about the boys you wanted to dance with and trying to practice dance moves at home. <laughs> oh, practicing dance moves at home. Maybe we should put a video of that. <laughs> I'm not a very good dancer, so no. <laughs> but yeah, there were a lot of fun and funny times in high school. All right, well, let's just go over what we talked about one more time. Okay, so we started with talking about some types of students, some stereotypical images of students. Right. And the ones we talked about were the teacher's pet, the class clown, and the slacker. Yes. And then we talked about classic scenarios. Like the dog ate my homework and skipping school. Yes. And then we talked about some school memories. Oh, the good old days. <laughs> the good old days indeed. <laughs> So thanks again, Daniel, for giving us this idea. It was fun, eh? It was a good idea. And don't forget to go to our website, qlips.com, that's C-U-L-I-P-S dot com, and check out Becoming a Member. Yeah, and also go to Facebook and let us know if you have any ideas of what you'd like to hear. Yeah, we'll talk to you again soon. Bye. Bye, everyone. <laughs>